so um, how many of you have attended the previous session in the same hall uh, done by another speaker which was associated to um, communication API, uh, I forgot the, the title name. Uh, it was associated to a bot framework, but on the client side. How many of you attended that session? All right, nice. Okay. So uh, my uh, session today is uh, primarily uh, covering, uh, primarily <coughs> covering the server side of the bot framework. Uh, so in the previous session, uh, he had covered the entire client side how to build the client side, and uh, the server side was just a JSON uh, connection. Uh, what I'm going to cover is how to build the entire Azure Watt framework, how to connect it, uh, how do you create a Q&A, how do you create the uh, GUI, or you know, the entire thing on the server side. So if you have attended the previous session, uh, this is almost like a precursor to how to build the server side of it. All right? Are you, are you guys interested in that? Yes? How many of you are interested to know uh, how to build uh, intelligent apps where your apps can find out data you can pass data to the uh, to the azure bot service and you can make some mo some more sense out of it how many of you are interested to understand that yeah everybody all right uh, my name is uh, vic uh, okay. yeah that's my last slide okay so my name is vic i am uh, uh, Director IT Operations, so we run a uh, small company in India and uh, Florida. Uh, what we do is uh, we make applications for US healthcare. And uh, yeah, that's, that's enough of me, just Google me out. Just the, e the name is uh, easy to remember. All right, so that's my slide. Yeah. So is there Wi-Fi password? Uh, no, so it was given to the organizers and uh, I think the bandwidth is not enough. Uh, otherwise, people like me won't be able to do any demos because I have only demos. Right. Yeah, okay. All right. Sorry for that. Okay. Uh, so, um, uh, very, very, uh, uh, very simple. I have only one slide, and everything else is a demo. So, uh, uh, the simple thing about this one is: uh, Are you able to hear me? By the way, is it is it audible enough? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, if you if you look at this, let me go there and uh, talk about that with the mouse at least. All right. So, all right. So, what we have here uh, is uh, we basically have our bot code. Uh, what we do is we uh, use a bot SDK uh, connected to the Azure services. Now, the moment this part is done, uh, once you d once you do this and deploy, what it will do is it will have its own state management. Uh, what it can do is it can do a lot of stuff around this <coughs> cognitive services. Uh, we can do a mix mix bag of many of these things. Like for example, if you want to do NLP or if you want to do a, uh, a face recognition and all that, you can connect these things to your state management and the input that is given from your bot code. So uh, I'm I'm going to demo that uh, most of these things. So if you if you consider this side. Uh, it is almost like your uh, service which is ready to uh, consume the data from a client application. So the client application is what you saw in the previous uh, demo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build you a, a bot service on Azure and I'm going to make that available as an input output as an endpoint and that endpoint can collect the data, it can make sense out of the data and then the data is represented back to you in a JSON format. So what you, what you can do is you can see the JSON format and find out that what makes sense. Like for example, it will give you like a percentage that of, uh, I can give you an example. Like if you say turn on my lights, so there are a couple of things it can tell you. It, it knows that you have to turn on something and that something can be a hardware device and that hardware device coincidentally is a light. So it will say light as percentage maybe like 80% as per your, uh, as per the conversation that you did. And uh, another thing is an action that you have to perform is to turn on. So uh, let me start that uh, demo, in fact. So yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's my slide. Uh, let me close that. And uh, let me duplicate my screen itself. So that what I do here is what you see. All right. So. Uh, 
uh, any questions about the the start of the application before I jump into the uh, server side of it? You can interrupt me any time, by the way, uh, in this session, okay? So uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, very first thing, uh, go to lui.s uh, dot ai. So uh, what I'm doing here is I am building an application, a uh, server-side application, which is going to uh, collect information from you in plain text. So what you can do is uh, you can connect to other services like speech-to-text API, and from the speech-to-text API, you can send the text to the language in, uh, interpreter. So what this, is, this thing will do is it is going to understand your language. And from your language, it is going to interpret that into actions or commands what you want to perform, right? So uh, you can come up with any examples. I have deleted all my previous examples to sh like show you fresh how to start with that. Uh, I hope internet is uh, cool enough here. Okay. So uh, uh, I'm thinking to make something on on uh, home automation. If you guys have any other uh, uh, another choice, maybe you can tell me. Uh, do you guys have anything else to to build? Like uh, if you, if you wanna, uh, for example, for example, this event, right? Uh, if you wanna do something for this event, like where is my room or you know something like you know whatever English conversation you want to have, and that conversation should lead you to giving proper output. So I have thought about one scenario which is a home automation, and uh, uh, you can talk to the bot and uh, you can get answers to that. Uh, there are a lot of things like I, I work in uh, U.S. healthcare, right? Uh, and uh, in U.S. healthcare, for example, I want to find out uh, by talking to a bot saying that show me my appointments mm -hmm. or show me my patients with uh, X, Y, Z kind of a disease <coughs> or show me the lab reports for this particular patient. So if you, if you have a conversation like that, if it says that show me the lab reports for patient A, right? So it will say lab reports is an action. It has to go to SQL Server, figure out, go to the lab reports table maybe, and then uh, do a where condition and find out by the person name. Now, just by that conversation, you will not be able to find out. But uh, this kind of a framework, what it does is it splits down everything, and you get a JSON. I'll show you that JSON. What that JSON will do is you can put in points saying that if the uh, percentage hit is maybe like 60% or 80% depending on how much you want to get into. Uh, according to that percentage, you can say that if it is higher than this percentage, go to the where condition and add this condition. So for example, <coughs> if you say, uh, find me Peter's uh, lab reports, right? If you just say that much, what it will do is it will understand that, okay, you have to find, find is a keyword for search, search is an action. And then uh, lab reports is the table maybe you want to map into, right? So how do you how do you take data out of your context? Now, not necessary, uh, not necessary that every time uh, somebody will say the same words, right? They can they can rephrase the sentence in any different way, right? If somebody says, uh, um, "Give me all the reports for uh, Peter," right? They did not mention lab reports. They just they just mentioned report. Now, it, it could be any conversation, right? So what it has to do is, it has to make sense out of that data. Once it makes sense out of the data, you get a good JSON. And you can collect that JSON from your restful, uh, restful endpoint. So basically what you get here is, there is an intelligence built into an application which is available at a REST endpoint. Uh, you send a get to that. You collect the information from that, which returns you a proper uh, JSON, and that JSON is represented in a very uh, uh, in a in a in a structured way, and that structure you can copy, and uh, you can make models out of that structure. So I'm going to show you some of that. So, <coughs> sorry, the guys who are recording, I just keep moving too much. All right, uh, all right. So, uh, are are we all together in this? Yes, yes. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a new app. So, what I'm doing is I'm building an app that is going to become a service. Okay. So let's say, uh, so what scenario would you like? Would you like to like, have some healthcare scenario or the home automation scenario? What would you like? Or give me a suggestion. I would like to build something which is from you guys. Let, let's, let's do this interactive. Home automation. Home automation? Yeah, I love home automation. I, I do a lot of IoT stuff for fun. Okay, so uh, let's say, uh, don't mind my uh, spellings. I might mess it up while typing something. Okay, so uh, 
so what we have here uh, is uh, is a very very basic uh, structure uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to start off with uh, an intent now uh, an intent is basically what would you like to do or what is happening or what is the action that you want to perform that is called as an intent now in an intent let me give you an example before i write it down uh, like the home automation uh, example uh, this room feels slightly warm right which is good for me it is feeling very cold downstairs uh, so if somebody wants to increase the temperature of this room what is the sentence that they will say increase temperature that's it short and sweet right increase temperature but then how how does it know that which room it is right so now it has to come back to a conversation i'm going to show you another api that is going to be a q and a api right so if you don't ask the, uh, ask the perfect question it should go to the q and a and say okay would you like to tell me the room or it should give you like five options of five available rooms in your house right something like that but uh, so let's let's do one thing let's uh, go to add an intent so my intent name is to for example turn on right turn on what is decided yet later right so turn on is my intent and for turning on things what would you say so for example i would say turn on my ac or turn on my heater uh switch on my uh what else uh, what all devices are there aircon aircon yeah <laughs> yeah aircon am i adding it somewhere where is it going i generally should add it here <laughs> the net is slow or what come on yeah learn 1 2 3 4 4 are pending okay so i i just typed like uh, four of them hopefully if the net is beautiful i'll be able to get it there so uh, what we did is we added uh, four uh, different uh, <coughs> Uh, four different utterances, right? So, uh, what is an utterance? Is what would what you would utter to say, and that should be mapped into rooms. That should be mapped into actions. That should be mapped into actions, whether it is on action or an off action. So, right now, what we did is we added an utterance on an intent, and the intent was to turn on, right? Uh, I hope that gets added because otherwise, I am stuck with no devices. <laughs> all right uh come on come on and the and the stupid thing is i shouldn't have deleted all my previous ones <laughs> uh come on uh no i so what i did is i thought you know what let me start fresh and like i selected all of them and like drop 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 uh, the only one i kept was a q and a because it's like a huge uh, very huge thing it it takes a lot of time but this one just generally works really fast uh i should i reload or yeah give it a shot okay so that's the intro screen by the way okay there something it got created let me look at the intent oh something came okay so there is a turn on intent and there is nothing in there so Oh, okay oh, all right perfect so turn on the heater right or then say wall room maybe uh something uh so what i'm doing is i'm just typing like some utterances okay what you have to do is uh, so these are based out of your machine learning you cannot just say turn on like one sentence and expect the machine to understand that switch on is also the same thing or you know in any other any other ways there are a lot of people who talk in different ways right 
So uh, that is why it is called as an utterance. What would you utter? What would you say to the app? And how does the app or how does the server side understand to convert that into an uh, actionable item, right? So uh, let's let's keep it with that. Now, uh, if you see here, uh, there are a couple of things that you need to still tell him. Basically, this is where we are training him, right? Now, uh, there are something called as entities, right? So what you can do is save, okay? So you can go to the entities and say add a custom entity. So for example, device or let's say mobile, right? All right, it's a simple entity. Uh, a simple entity is basically something that maps to a single object, uh, a single uh, name, a single item. Uh, if it is a composite, a composite is when there are two things together or multiple things together. Uh, the th uh, hierarchical is if you have something that belongs in a tree structure or a hierarchical structure where, uh, for example, uh, turn on the temperature 21 degrees of ballroom, like 21 and temperature belongs together, but then they are hierarchical, right? So something like that. Uh, and the list, yeah, list is fun. Uh, so. Uh, list is slightly, uh, slightly better. I'm so sorry. I keep roaming out. Uh, list is like slightly, slightly more, uh, uh, slightly more better because you can give a static list of things, saying that okay, if it is this, 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 these many 15 words, right? It makes this as a single, uh, single entity, right? So if you already know the entire list, it is fantastic. You can just put in a list and you can get away with it. <coughs> All right. So uh, I'm going to add a simple uh, mobile. Okay, so what we did is we added a mobile. Now we have to go back to your intent and say that, uh, you know what, I added an intent called as uh, turn on and inside that there was a phone and phone belongs to mobile, right? Now if you don't want to do this back and forth, like you went to the entities and say that, okay, phone is an entity and you want to do that. So for example, uh, you want to make theater as a room, right? Theater is a room, correct? So you click on that and say this is a room and you can add that entity. So that same thing will get added in the entity section. So you don't have to go back and forth all the time and remember the entire thing, right? Uh, the other thing is, uh, so for example, if you wanna select multiple of them, right? You can do that and then say, this belongs to a room. A uh, heater belongs to a hardware or you can put IoT or something like whatever, right? Uh, so you can say hardware and then heater is a uh, hardware so once you have added that ac is a uh, hardware turn on is the intent right so what we have done just now is we have given like okay so per intent the you should have like 50 of them okay to make sense out of the data right but right now if you, if you say uh, turn on the heater it should know that okay i'm i'm supposed to turn on right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to save that and uh, I'm gonna go to the intent and I'm gonna say add another intent called as turn off, right? And I hope that it continues to work. Turn off the heater or switch off the fan maybe. Uh, Lights. Turn on that LED, something, right? So now your LED is a hardware, uh, lights is a hardware, fan is a hardware, heater obviously is a hardware, right? So what we did is we are basically telling that, okay, out of this sentence, this is a hardware. And then like if you if you say that, uh, uh, or you know what, let's, let's, let's be more pleasing. All right, that's a long sentence, right? <laughs> so lights is a hardware, uh, switch off is this, uh, our current intent, uh, drawing room is a room. Uh, so yeah, like what we did is we are uh, ignoring the please and all that noise and, and just like saying that, okay, these are the intent, these are the entities. So if you look at the entities now, if I click on save, uh, I anybody coming up with any other ideas just want to add one maybe? Sure. 
So currently we're uh, training the the bot in terms, or the, at least the intent to turn off, switch off. Correct. Um, in the part model, uh, Louis, does it, uh, let's say I haven't, uh, uh, there's another uh, intent that can um, I mean that, uh, let's say, uh, apart from switch off, turn off, uh, bump. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so, so perfect. I, I didn't uh, get a chance to uh, put it in explicitly. And then when we use the bot, someone, uh, say like bump off or something. I'm, I'm going to add that. So yes, let's uh, say you want to say I don't know. Do, do, do we have reduce, to, right? Do we have to explicitly uh, put all the No. So here, uh, so if you if you consider this in a way where uh, a machine is a dumb device, you have to tell the machine that, okay, it's too hot here, right? Yeah. So I've created a, um, uh, a intent called as reduce. Now, in a reduce intent, what I would do is, I would say, uh, it's too hot, yeah, right? It, it doesn't correlate. It will, it will correlate. So what it will do is, say so it's too hot, where hot belongs to uh, temperature, right? So what you can do is, you can say hot, and then say temperature, right? Yeah. So now what it will do is, <coughs> What? Dude, it doesn't like the word. Obviously, it likes the word. Okay. So, meaning switch off doesn't get uh, correlated unless we explicitly put it in. You have to train it. You have to train it. So, uh, if I said it's it's getting too hot in here, or you know, I am I am feeling cold today, something like that, right? So, when you say I am feeling cold today, that entire sentence has to correlate into reducing your temperature or increasing your temperature so for example uh, if I save this one okay and I go to the intent and I add another intent called as increase right and in increase I would want to say that uh, uh, let's say I'm feeling cold today right so what it did is feeling cold today is uh, increase intent now increase intent in cold cold is a temperature right so what would you do is you say temperature and let's say this one is date time for example right so today or like if you want to say that tomorrow I would want my temperature to be 21 degrees right that's a sentence that you say right so once you say that sentence it has to collect 21 degrees it has to map that 21 degrees to temperature right and it has to connect it to a AC as a hardware or a heater as a hardware and then increase or decrease as for your location of uh, uh, execution right so all right so what I what I've done right now is it's a very short thing and uh, I'm sure that you guys are like thinking right now that how on earth will I know how do I sit and create these, right? How many options are there? How many entities could be there? How, how do I, you know, uh, how do I write these sentences for each intent I need turn on, turn off this and it's like a confusing thing, right? You might have to, you know, ask somebody who is good in language maybe and say that, you know what, just sit and type these things in a, in a, in a uh, Word document or a, or a notepad or something. And in fact, what you can do is you can import that entire thing just saying, you know, uh, these are the intents and this is what you want to do and collect it. But there are more intelligent things built into this. So, uh, so you saw this part, right? Let me finish this part of the thing and I will come back to how to automate this entire thing. Okay. All right. So what we have done is we have done entities and, uh, okay, let me save this. So uh, the last few I just added just for the demo sake, uh, I hope it doesn't collide with each other and all that. Okay. So we have some entities, right? Uh, these entities are connected to the intents. Now what we are going to do is we are going to go to train and train the model. So what it is going to do is it is going to understand this and figure out that okay if somebody talks about these things what should I understand and how should I correlate these things right. So the training is done if you see here uh, train was at this time right. So uh, now can somebody give me a sentence which I did not type or something which is around this. I like cheese very much. Okay, yeah, let's try that. I. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> and the wine as well. I like cheese and I like. All right, so, 
So Ben, uh, my super favorite person here, he said that I like cheese very much, right? Now, none of these words we had ever written inside our application, right? So if I would have written this inside the intent saying cheese, right, let's do this. So if I go back to intent and if I say add an intent, now see the see the flow, okay? Now what I have, I have added as an intent is a food, food as an intent, right? Now if I say, uh, all right, I said I, do, I don't like cheese that much. Why not? I like cheese. Yeah, I like cheese. Yeah. <laughs> no. So you know what? Uh, let's discard that. Okay. That's what you get from not liking cheese. No lines. <laughs> <laughs> I love cheese. Okay. Uh, so okay. So I've added. I don't like cheese. I I love cheese and all that. So let me unselect that. Select that. Discard that. Yes, that. Uh, come back. What happened? It. I think it's just net is slow. Anyway, so I have two of them here. Now, if I take cheese and it does it, does it belong to any of these? Obviously not, right? So what I would want to do is, uh, oh, I should have done the reverse one. Food was the entity and the eat was the intent. Okay. Uh, uh, zoom. I think you can see. Everybody can see, right? Okay. Okay. Sorry. Uh, can you guys see in the back? No, I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I uh, I should have added the other way around. I mean, uh, because there are disturbing people here. <laughs> so uh, so the uh, the intent was the intent was eat and the entity was food, right? I should have done it reverse, but. Let's consider it that way, uh, just for the sake of it. Uh, cheese is also uh, food, where wherever it comes in, okay. And uh, uh, don't maybe is a negative thing, right? I mean, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on save, and I'm gonna go back to train. I will train it again. So now you can see it is like zero of twelve, right? So uh, it is training all the twelve things that we have added in. <coughs> okay. So. This time I, I typed something that we never created, right? Or I don't like cheese, I hate cheese. I never typed hate anywhere, right? So what it does is it will tell you that there is a full 100% uh, connection to cheese as food. It was, it, so you can see here, right? Right? And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm, go I'm gonna publish this one. In fact, you know what, let me publish this right now. It doesn't take too much time anyway. Uh, so publish. Fantastic. Okay, so I published it, and it has given me a URL, right? Now this URL, all I have to do is, if you guys can see my uh, uh, bar, no, obviously not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go to my Postman. All right, and I'm going to do is. Uh, I'm going so you see the Q param, right? Q is the question. So you ask a question, okay? The rest of them were just, uh, okay, let me zoom in if this thing allows me to zoom in, by the way. Uh, Postman doesn't allow to zoom in, sorry for that. I should have installed the sys internal zoom in utility, but I formatted my laptop very soon. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, uh, give me some other uh, give me some other thing to type. I don't understand women. <sighs> Seriously, <laughs> everybody understands women. <laughs> okay, um, I, I cannot type that uh, live on the camera, so I because I will I will go into other zone. Okay, uh, let's turn on the not hot heater; it's already hot uh, AC, right? So what I did is I just typed something called as "Let's turn on the AC," right? And is it correct? Yeah. Why, why, why? Oh, everything is correct in this. Okay. Let me type it here and see. Typo. 
Oh, it works here. Why not in the Windows? Plus. Oh, it's a post. Okay, sorry, sir. No, it is Windows supposed to be get. Look, Windows Plus and Windows minus two means we have to. I don't like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Ben is always, as usual, super thankful. But uh, Windows Plus. Oh, I hate this thing, man. Damn. Now I can see. Now even a blind guy can see. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry for the sorry for the bad jokes. <laughs> Alright, so uh, here you see the intent. What I typed is completely different, right? Uh, oh, I forgot what I typed. Uh, it's like, damn. Something about cheese. <laughs> okay, I, I think, uh, I, I don't remember what. Anybody remember what I typed? No. Oh, it's written, yeah, let's turn on the AC, right? Okay, so uh, that was never written inside my learning model, right? We never wrote, wrote let's turn on something, right? We just said uh, please turn on or something like that, right? But now it says 86% intent is to turn on, right? And then if you scroll down and see, oh man, that's the reason why I don't like this. <laughs> oh, come on, all right. All right. So the entity it connected to is uh, is an entity called an AC. The type is hardware. And if I would have said turn on the AC or not, I mean, right now we are doing just turn on, right? So it says the intent is turned on, and the heart it's an hardware, and the thing that you are turning on is an AC. So now this is a JSON object that you get, right? And what you can do is you can take this JSON object. Obviously, everybody knows how to convert your JSON object into models, right? You can convert that into model and you can do a direct mapping and you would get like a proper value inside your application and you can do whatever you want to do with it, right? If you want to connect it to an IoT device, right? Uh, you can just say that, okay, if, if it is hardware, then go to this device, send it to a, that, send a, you know, uh, maybe a, a ping to that device and update that, right? One second. I'll, I'll get back to you one second. Let me get my machine back in this. Okay, so uh, let's ask another question. Okay, uh, can we ask another question to this? Ha, huh, yeah, please. Um, can we turn on, turn off the light? Uh, we want to see if it gets distributed in the uh, just the score just gets distributed. Turn off. Sorry. Uh, turn. Uh, can we turn on, turn off the light? Oh, you want to type it that way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll I'll precisely type the same thing. Can we turn on? Yeah. Correct? All right. So let's send that. So interestingly, what it will do is, I know you guys would love to zoom this in. Uh, all right. So here you see turn off is 59. Turn on is 40. So now you have confused not only yourself, but the computer. <laughs> Uh, but I think I think the the intent was uh, given slightly more on this side and slightly more on the other side. I have no clue why. But it is see, uh, I think the computer is together. as intelligent as you teach it to be. It, it doesn't have its mind of its own, right? So uh, what I mean, it's a very good example that if you are not forming your sentences correctly, it will end up in giving you junk. So basically, junk in, junk out, right? So it's the same thing. But then, interestingly, yeah. Please try not to turn on the aircon. Please try not to turn on the aircon. Like, why would you ask that question? So, so here there, yeah. So that's a good, no, that's a good one. But uh, there is no intent in this. Because if you say, like, uh, for example, can you call a pizza delivery guy and say, can you not deliver me a pizza? <laughs> There is no intent. No, sorry, jokes apart, but there is no intent here, right? What uh, sentence you say it doesn't have an intent association. I'm trying to say, right, for example, say, please turn the aircon, but not too high or not too low. It's kind of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, I mean, so, you can't, uh, yeah, yeah. so now you are making an intent, yeah. right? Now you, are, now you are saying that turn on, but not that high, yeah. right? So, that is why I created another two intents called as increase and reduce, right? Or you can give it whatever name you want to give, and that name has to map up to your. Entities, right? So I, I think we are all understanding this, right? Are we understanding? Yes. 
Okay, now let us try to build this slightly better. Okay. <coughs> so. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> All right, so coming back to our home automation thing. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'll zoom in a little bit, 125. Is this visible, guys? Yes? Yes? Okay. So now what we are going to do is, we are going to go to the intent and uh, select some of them. Or oh, you know what? The best thing, let me go ahead and build another one. Okay. So let's say home auto. Where is auto? All right. So what we did just now, so the previous one is something that we sit and build manually, right? And obviously it has its own good and good and bad, right? Now let us try to ask Microsoft to do it or let us get some help, okay? Uh, if you look at the pre-built domains, right? There are a lot of domains here, okay? Lot of domains here. And there is a domain called as home automation. If you guys see it, let me know. It was somewhere in the middle, yeah. So what I'm what I'm going to do is I just added home automation as a domain. Okay, uh, it's going to take a little time, like a couple of microseconds. Okay, beautiful. So, uh, so what we did here is I just went ahead and added one domain called as home automation. Right now, if you go back and look at the intents, it has already added turn off and audit added turn on. Now in turn off, it has added so many utterances. So this is something that you have added only for turning on and turning off. Now this is basically like a template given to you saying that, okay, if I want to do something like this, what are the utterances that we would possibly want to have, right? Uh, if you, okay, so if you are getting confused with looking at this one, what you can do is you can click on entities and you can click on token. Now the sentence makes sense to you, right? It was basically mapping and token. So if you want to see whether what entities map to it, so turn on, there is a home automation operation and which device it is, right? So if you look at that into a token format, it says turn off staircase, right? And then turn off fire lights or turn off wind light or whatever, right? So you have like a list of items where they have given you some templates where you can come up with these options, right? So if you go look at the entities, there are device, operation and room. Okay, almost the same thing that we tried to build last time, right? Obviously, these people have put it into proper namespacing uh, things, but you understand this and this, right? Now, interestingly, what you can do is you can add many of these pre-built domains together to make more sense out of it, right? Because you are going to talk to the application. What you are supposed to do is if you go to pre-built and say, you know what, add communication in there, add, uh, for example, uh, events in there, not events, let's say, uh, home automation be added, music we don't need, device maybe, right? Or places, yeah, maybe places. Mm -hmm. You can say just go home and add my, or go home and turn on my thing or like turn on AC in my home. How, how does it know home? So if you want to know, if you want it to know home means a location, you have to go and add places, right? So you say places, add. By the way, uh, if you are adding one domain, Sometimes what it will do is that domain has partial connections to other places. So it will show partially added. You see partially added in other places, right? Like a note, like a one on device or something, right? So if you want to say, okay, give me all devices also. Uh, sorry, the net is slightly slow. Otherwise this demo generally is faster. Oh, I have another, another big demo uh, after this. Uh, anybody keeping time? Uh, what, how much time do I have? Okay, that's fine. Till the time the next speaker comes and kicks me out, it's fine. <laughs> All right, so let me add places. Now, the reason why I'm adding multiple of them, it, then you will understand how does it become complex and how do you, how do you test it, right? So uh, it is still adding one more domain, I believe. So if you go to intent, now you can see communication, right? So many things, right? device on off power off pair device open settings these are all related to more more towards the device side of it but uh, sleep like you can come up with with a connection that says uh, it's time to sleep turn on lights so if no sleep it will do one intent second intent turn on the light you know it can do multiple things together 
see uh, this imagine only one one uh, simple scenario the more you teach it uh, and the more entities you have and the more intents you have that much big your json is going to generate okay uh, the bigger the json the more the values in there the more the values in there you can do more conditional execution and the conditional execution means that your capability of app becomes more but then there is a chance of introducing confusion right so you try to do things which are associated only to the task that you have you have created the service on so just stick to that uh, it's just a, just a advice so i've added I, i've added couple of them let us go to test and train this time let's see how many trains uh, how many things it has to train for 77 yeah that's not bad so we we already have the previous one that we added so it can still understand those words plus it will understand more so uh, let us look at the json that it gets generated so uh, by the time it does that so <coughs> if, if you guys are connecting to this as a service running on an endpoint uh what you get now is you send in a question a question can like uh it is so easy to build an app where you are asking a question uh, maybe a web app or maybe a xamarin app or maybe whatever it is just the text that you are sending to the service what the service returns is a json and that json can be collected back at your http client and you can just parse it and you can understand what you can do with it right it's it's an action that you have to perform right Okay, so the training is done. Uh, this time, let us ask a more confusing question. Uh, yeah, I don't know confusing questions. Somebody help me with confusing questions. Come on, help me, guys. Uh, okay. Are there keywords that is added? Uh, so right now, it has it has a lot all the keywords associated: phones, devices, hardware, uh, home automation, turning on, turning off. Uh, uh send sms maybe and all because we added communication right so for example I, let us type this the ac switch uh, uh okay so let's let's say even more <laughs> crazier this was the weather ask outside. my yeah so okay let's let's type a really bad one around that so as per the weather uh decide to turn on the ac and that's long right that's a like completely stupid question so <laughs> what i did is i typed something called as uh, as per the weather decide to turn on the ac and send me an sms uh, uh, sms uh, if it is on i know that's like a long sentence yeah, that is as if you are talking to the app right i mean you can literally say that you know as per the as, uh, as per the weather i mean you said weather yeah, figured out with some stupid thing right so what is the answer for this right so the answer for this is if you look at your json that will get generated i'm going to show you that in fact you know what let us copy that i hope i can do that oh man okay and go to the qa uh, sorry here or my postman right postman is nice so i go to my postman and i type the same thing right and i send it now this is the json that it generated right i know it is small uh no this is not that it's no that is because the type thing is typed here no oh, no okay no this is not the ball oh is it am i in the wrong place so you change the new outflow method the new outflow method where am i what am i doing and anyway, yeah so that i am confused right now because i am running out of time and i have to do things uh, do do another demo okay so uh, okay so if you see the top here top listing things here right what it did is it says okay send sms 44% right uh, home automation turn on 26% so now it says okay send an sms turn on the home uh, turn on the uh, home automation device which is i believe the ac right now and uh, you know i don't know ignore with message or something so you have like less percentage on other things so right now it has like okay two things home automation send an sms and turn on the ac but it understood slightly okay the reason why it would have not understood the weather part of it because we never added anything to do with weather so if you go back to your pre built domains 
and if there is something to do with weather here right uh, events maybe has something or whatever so uh, if you add things yeah here it is weather beautiful so if you add the weather now it will know okay you know the forecast as for today is like 27 degrees and i think the ac should be on for like this much degrees you can see it's you have to write that but then the service is what will make sense out of it and give you a json back ultimately we what we want back is an intelligent json that we can do something with right what you do with it is your thing anyway the service has nothing to do with how you are going to implement your uh, thing right okay so uh, is uh, is this understanding like is it going in or am i confusing the hell out of everybody <laughs> are we good yes yes, yes. yes. okay so now uh, <coughs> would you like to talk to the uh, talk to an app like like you ask it a question and it will respond back okay so till now what we saw is you have a service running you have a service running in the cloud and you send some text to it and the response back to you is a json right and you're doing you're doing something with a json later on what i'm going to talk about next uh, is i'm going to talk about creating a bot for your chat engine or a bot where you can use your own personal chat engine you can connect it to your skype you can connect it to your uh, slack telegram or whatever uh, things you are you are using should we do that yeah okay uh, if somebody can tell me what is the time i will be more organized i have 15 minutes yes. fantastic okay so luis can go and what you can do oh, damn okay so uh, go to a site called as q and a maker q and a maker okay let me zoom in uh, if it is possible to oh, damn okay q and a maker dot ai okay so if you go to q and a maker dot ai and if you sign in you generally get like on the top it will say sign in uh, what what we are going to do is uh, i have created uh, one service or maybe two uh, okay so i have a test bot i'm going to show you that test bot it's very uh, very interesting but i would love to show you from start always okay so create a new service uh, give it a service name so um, uh, what is the q and a you want to do somebody sorry monkey fest okay monkey fest has a q and a we don't have a q and a right or we can build one uh, or or something else uh, how about flight timings many people are flying around right okay so flight uh, q and a right okay so uh, what i'm going to do is i need so uh, this is this is one of the best part about the q and a uh, this line the urls right uh, so any web page that contains the question and the answer already like microsoft faqs right so you what you can do is you can say okay this is a page where it contains the microsoft faq or what we will do is we will try to search for uh, flight q and a Let's see if there is something. Flight question and answer. Okay, that is interesting. Uh, flight tools, no. Uh, airfare watchdog. Okay, that looks interesting. So, oh, lovely. So this is nice. So, are the prices shown on your site applicable to all? And but where is the answer? Oh, you have to click on it. I don't like that. No, that's a redirect. No, that's not going to work. Uh, you need like a q and a together okay so let's see if this thing is there this says q is there after that is a uh, oh a is there yeah a is there but that's like a humongous q you cannot ask that entire thing right it should be like a you know like sweet q and a just for software q for some software q sort no, but we decided flight right <laughs> something else yeah uh, on the on the to save the time right damn stupid sites <laughs> come on yeah, yeah this looks okay uh, this looks this looks okay right? i mean yeah it has smaller questions right uh, there is one question called as anything else okay fantastic <laughs> 
Right, go, man. Go, okay. So Q&A Maker, I'm gonna paste this link and uh, that's all. So now you click on create. Sorry, I'm just rushing through. Please don't mind. Oh, lovely, fantastic. So see what it did. So uh, let me zoom in. And I think the first question is nice. What on earth is going on with uh, uh, Rain Air? Okay, like more than 30,000, whatever, what? It's like this, there's a question, right? There's a question, and that question has an answer. Uh, please don't mind if somebody is working for this company or whatever. I, I just selected some random URL, okay? So, uh, is this airline canceling so many flights? Oh, why? 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 <laughs> but this is this is nice, interesting Q&A, right? <laughs> All right. So it has questions and it has answers, right? Okay. So uh, what it, what this thing has done is it has basically oh my god there is like a <laughs> page in there. All right. Okay, so there are questions and answers. There are not enough question answers, but there, there are some, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump some of it because it, it might just add some processing time to it. Uh, I think it has a list of all the URLs possible to, uh, you know, London, run London Rome. Okay, that's fine, yeah. So that looks like slightly decent, right? Okay, I know the answers are pretty huge. So uh, what we did just now did is we took a URL and we said that okay, take this URL and and, and add the uh, add the metadata from it, right? So now you can just say save and retrain. What it is going to do is it is going to understand these questions, going to map it to answers, and then interestingly, what you can do is you can just uh, publish that, or you can test it here itself. Uh, the testing here is nice, in fact, it's better than the previous testing. So, uh, what are the uh, anything else, right? So I just typed anything else and it returns me the answer that it already had, right? So uh, something else was not there, right? But it gives you anything else, something else, right? So this is slightly more intelligent, right? But then you can say like, What on earth is this? What it will do is it will match up with the what on earth there, and you know, like it will give you an answer. So, again, the same thing. You you put in junk and it will give you junk out. But then see the intelligence where you are ask you you train the model to ask a question, but then you're not asking that question. You're asking something else. But that something else maps down to somewhere around that answer, and it figures out what answer it has to give you. This is uh, so. If you call a pizza delivery guy, right, and say, you know what, give me a margarita, he's not going to give you a margarita, maybe like a shoe, right? Uh, he's going to give you a pizza because you called in a pizza, right? The percentage match, ma match is like 90% sure that you never ask for a margarita uh, shoe, right? So that kind of a ma ma matching is there, and because we are humans, we take it for granted, but the poor machine cannot do that, right? Uh, machine has to, like, okay, understand which one goes where and all that, right? Now, uh, so you saw this part, right? What I'm gonna do is I build the same thing, okay? I build the same thing for the uh, for the sake of time. I'm just going back to my services, okay? I build the same thing called as Vic Test Bot, right? I'm gonna show you the entire thing. You will you will hopefully like it. <coughs> okay, so this is my Q and A. It's huge. It is humongous, in fact, right? And what this uh, Q&A is, it's, it's basically like asking completely lame questions. Like if I just scroll down randomly and just leave it somewhere and see what are the questions. So I just I know people can't read it from the back. Uh, where do horses live? Uh, and the answer is in the neigh bird, right? Because the horse will make his neigh thing, okay, yeah. So where, why are elephants uh, wrinkled? Because they don't fit in an iron board. Okay. <laughs> So I mean, yeah, like uh, so. There are lame questions with lame answers, right? But it is a funny bot, right? I created a bot called as a funny bot, and it has like all of these questions, right? So how 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 did I build these questions? You can type your own questions and answers, right? So for example, uh, uh, here I would like to add add another pair. Okay, uh, let's say I want to add. Uh, do you? Do you like speaking, for example, right? And I would say, um, tell, 
till the time it is fun right I, so I, whatever the spelling is right so what i did is i just added another question and that question has an answer right please don't mind the spelling mistake but what i'm going to do is i'm going to say save and retrain so what it is going to do is it is going to train the model and after it trains the model it is going to be available now where is it going to be available what you have to do is so once this is done so what we did is we created the qna we trained the model and we go ahead and publish it so once it is published it will give you a location where it published and you can do a post command on that i'm not going to show you that right now so i'm going to say publish and you can see this uh, this url right yeah uh, yeah perfect so you can see this url https whatever uh, slash knowledge base dot whatever generate answer and then you can send a question saying question in your body and you uh, send the question that you want to send as simple as that so basically you are doing a post on a url and you are getting an answer back that's it that's as simple as that but then it doesn't end there what we are going to do here is uh, all right so so once this is this entire service is ready you can go to your azure services okay and in your azure services you can say new you can say bot right how much time do i have <coughs> a minute 10 Five minutes 7 seven. Seven. Oh, lovely okay we can do it in 7 minutes so <laughs> create and i'm going to say fun bot wake i'm sure that is available okay so i'm going to use my existing uh, plan and uh, everything looks fine pin to dashboard all right so it is deploying this is how you have created a app and but this app is still not connected to the service that you created right what you just now did is you created a bot and the bot is standing by itself this bot has a code you can download that entire source code and you can start writing in your visual studio but that is what i think the previous guy uh, would have covered right so i'm not going to cover that coming back to this uh, uh, fun bot wick 99 right uh, create a microsoft app so it is going to generate an app id and it is going to generate an app name i just leave it as default because many times the app names are not available okay so uh, generate an app password to continue and you would want to love to save this password somewhere so password i generally do it like this app id and my app name Oh, sorry, sorry. All right. So I, I have app name, app ID, and app password, right? So I said finish and go back, and it is asking me for the password. I take the password and put it in, and I would like to build a C sharp based application, and I would like to build a Q and A in this. I would like to agree. Please read the terms and conditions very carefully, as we always do. <laughs> All right. and you, you see here wick test bot and base i think that previous one we did not publish right so i'm going to connect it to uh, connect it to the wick test bot and say okay so what this thing is doing is it is connecting your app that you just now built to the bot that you built there so here in the q and a if you look at my services right you see wick test bot i think this is still under construction so it is going to take some time to record this one uh, i got, got five minutes my friend Oh, lovely! Five minutes. Lovely, is, just like five minutes is too much time. Oh, too much. Okay, two and a half. All right. Okay. All right. Where was I? Disturbing elements. Okay. <laughs> uh, come on. Yeah. So this thing takes like a little time, uh, but I we have I have five minutes. I can show some good demo on five minutes. Not to worry. any uh, any questions by the way yeah please go ahead and ask question because we'll run out of it yeah or ladies first okay i'm okay um so um louis supports that around 10 languages right yes. if i want to support a language that is not yet supported can i bring my own model so i have no clue <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, seriously i don't know that okay so uh, go to channel so once you have built you can download the entire code okay uh, you can go to the channels and say that you know what i would like like to connect it to my skype okay 
So let's say I want to connect it to my Skype account. And if you are coincidentally logged in into the same Skype account as your Skype running and you've logged in into the same thing, it is good. Otherwise, it is going to ask you to log in and just log in through your credentials and it will connect. Now, a fun bot WIC 99 is a bot that we just now created. And that bot is something that we saw there with all these lame question and answers, right? These jokes or whatever the thing was, right? So I say add to contacts and I let me open Skype. Somewhere here, it should just go ahead and add that, right? Come on, come on. Bye. Oh, which one? <laughs> I think this one. This is, this is, I think we connected to the right one. I hope so. Yeah, okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, you see, now I am connected to my bot on Skype. Now, I don't need this, uh, this web. I don't need anything else on Earth. I just need this Skype, right? And uh, what can I ask this Skype? All kinds of stupid questions, right? So, what was that question? Elephant thing? Uh, okay. Uh, why does wrinkle spelling is wrong or what? I don't know. Why does the elephant have wrinkles, right? Because the answer was like it doesn't it doesn't fit on the board or something, right? Yeah. That doesn't fit on the iron board, right? I it should answer that hopefully very soon. I don't know what the hell is this. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think the service is not connected. But it, the same thing. So ask me is the is the bot that I tested the same bot with the same uh, same loop. So uh, let me ask a question here. Like, uh, um, how many must a man? Okay. Good that you can read. I cannot read. Yeah. All right, so Ben's uh, zoom in thing, okay. No match found, okay, so there is no match for that. But uh, anything else like. Uh, Can you light my cigarette? Can I say no match found? No, no match found. <laughs> oh, the cigarette spelling is wrong. Um, Okay, so some of the questions I, I asked earlier, maybe we can ask that. Or you know what, we can refer back to the list that we already have, right? Uh, oh my goodness. Not this so Q and a image Sorry? It doesn't allow image uh, No, no, not in this. So for image, you have the face API. Yeah, so these are these are some of the questions like okay how to make fire with two sticks okay let's ask that where is my skypey okay so four sticks why not so make sure one is a match oh yeah that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> So I, I mean, what you, what you just now did is like think. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm completely out of time. But think in this way: your company has built an application, and your application has a lot of FAQ, right? And generally, FAQs are like humongous, right? Just how much time did it take for us to build a bot like this? Like almost no time, right? If I can do it right here in front of you, you can definitely sit and you know go through your FAQ and then generally. Your 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 uh, product will have an FAQ page, right? For people to refer, you just have to say, like, okay, ping, you know, connect to this URL, and you are done. Once you have the chat bot created, all you have to do is just start inviting people to that bot. You can publish this bot to Microsoft, and everybody can find out through your uh, through your FAQ or or something stupid like this on like fun bot or something, right? I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yes. Thank you everyone.